I think the most important part of leadership is that it's contagious. We pass it from life to life, from body to body. We give the people around us courage to do great things. That came for me, that moment when it was 10 years after we'd climbed Everest and we were looking to celebrate and to give back. We'd had all our lives transformed by the mountains as a team. We thought the best way we could celebrate would be to work with a team of America's heroes uh, and have them reach their own Everest. Uh, we recruited a team of soldiers. They were all hurt in Afghanistan and Iraq. Um, our goal was Lobache, 20,100 foot peak near Everest in the Himalaya. Um, we took them back to Colorado and we trained them in all the things they need to know, including this no barriers mindset of attacking barriers. And, uh, and then we went to the mountain. Well, we had some amazing people on our team. We had Nicolette. Nicolette um, was hurt and, and she was in a wheelchair uh, for three and a half years learning to walk again. And, and Dan, this really tough Marine, could chew you in half, but because of post-traumatic stress, he has trouble getting on a bus or walking through a grocery store. And uh, Matt, part of an elite unit, his helicopter crashed, it sucked him through the rotors of the helicopter. Terrible, terrible challenges. And Steve, close to my heart, Steve was uh, in his armored vehicle when an IED exploded and sent shrapnel through his brain and blinded him instantly and killed his partner. The mountain turned out to be tougher than we thought, as they always are. Up steep rock, uh, up steep snow and ice, and uh, somewhere up high on the mountain, everybody was working hard. Steve, he just had one of these moments. We probably all had him, a moment of fear and doubt. He had trained, he had prepared right, but he had been blind for less than two years. He just had one of these moments, and he dropped to his knees, and he said, I, I don't belong here. I, I've gone as high as I can. I need to go down. And Jeff, who seems to know what to say, he said, hey, Steve, this isn't just about you. This is about your injured comrades. This is about those who have yet to be injured, those who didn't come home like Victor. He said, this is as much about them as it is about you. You own this. Now knuckle down and get this job done. And that's what Steve needed to hear, because with that motivation, with the ultimate sacrifice of his friend Victor, he got up. He got up off his knees, and he struggled forward. And a few hours later, uh, we stood on the summit of Lobache, 20,100 feet, uh, with my Everest team and with these soldiers. I've been to some higher mountains and maybe some harder mountains, but I don't think I've ever been so proud because I think leadership is contagious. We pass it from life to life, from body to body. We give the people around us courage to do great things. And uh, by the way, um, we celebrated our success the way every team celebrates. You know, we had a few drinks out of Matt's leg, a few toasts. And, um, and we'll continue to do this program, Soldiers to Summits, as long as there's a need. Uh. It's a human vision, legacy we want to leave behind us.